Hi everyone, welcome to Data Science Alive. This is session 2 of Multiple Linear Regression Fundamentals. Linear Regression Model is an assumption. That is an assumption. First one is linearity. Second one is no or lack of multicollinearity within the independent variable. Third one is residual or independent. Fourth one is homoscadicity. And fifth one is multivariate normality. Let's start from the assumption 1 that is linearity. Linearity in the each dependent and independent variable should have a correlation or linearity within each other. That is, it can be a positive correlation or negative correlation or curve linearity. We have to check the MLR data set. We have to check independent variable. Dependent variable For example, in this scenario, we have to check the height and weight. We are getting a linear correlation. This is each individual independent variable. Different variable order check pani paakna, whether it has any correlation or linearity within each other. If so, we can say our data set has passed the first assumption. Our second assumption is lack or no multicollinearity within independent variable. That is, we have multiple independent variables. And the independent variable is linearity or correlation. We have an example of two independent variables that is age and male. If you look at the male, there are two data points, that is 0 and 1. If you have age increase, you can run the two points. It clearly seems there is no correlation between age and sex, that is male. This is how we test the independent variable. If there is any collinearity arises or not. If there is no collinearity, then we can say our data is successfully passed the second assumption. For understanding the below three assumption, we have residual in So let's get into residual. So residual in NN is nothing but the difference between the data point and the linear line. This is the error in the sum of squared errors can be degraded in the difference at which we have So this is called residual. Our third assumption is residual or independent. That is why one residual information or data is impacted in one residual. Each individual residual data point should be independent. That is why there is correlation or relationship. The next one is homoscadicity. That is why variance among the residual is similar to spread. So this is called homoscadicity. The next assumption is multivariate normality. अभी ना 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 नम्बरोंडे residual सो एंटीर residual लोडे data points चलाती है डेटे आदर distribution निमे check पने ना it should be normally distributed अब डेरे ना मर्डन ना we can say that the fifth assumption is passed real life scenario ला इपन हमलोग के दाय चोर business statement और business problem मर्दन पाते को there is any data set that is similar to linear regression इरं दिच्छना direct आ linear regression apply पने रा देंगे until otherwise इन्दा अंजे assumption ओ satisfy आ रहा है इन्दा अंजे assumption satisfy आ गला ना then it implies the model is wrong or the performance will be very poor and we cannot rely on the model output. Our model build on the variable selection is very important for us. Let's consider the below MLR data set that is multiple linear regression country on the data set. If you look at the height, age, sex, location which seems to be much correlated with weight. Different variable is much core relationship or linear relationship. But what happens if we include father and mother data? That is why the name of the upper name does not have any influence towards weight and weight. Because it is just a name. It does not have any influence on weight. So, if you have a name, you can tell us how the weight is going to be. Hence, these are the irrelevant data. So, in the irrelevant data or the data which is have no linearity with the dependent variable, we include it. Why do we include it? The first one is garbage in is equal to garbage out. If we have any input, we will have the output. The second thing is, if there is no linearity or no correlation, we should not include it. According to our assumption 1 for linear regression. The third thing is, it will consume more processing time and server resources will be consumed. Which will have an impact on the model performance. In the next session, we will deep dive in P-Value. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and post your feedback in the comment section. Thank you.